What is going on guys, Ag is here again with another tutorial and as requested we have another After Effects tutorial and in today's lesson what we're going to be learning is how to create this really cool glossy promo effect where we've got the the glossy video that comes in with the sexy reflections on the bottom and we've got this text that comes in on the side and it's pretty easy to do. I'm not sure how long this tutorial is going to be but I'm going to try and go through it as fast as we can so let's go ahead and get started. So if I just open up After Effects here, what I'm going to do to start off with is create the background and I'm going to do that by going to Layer, New, Solid and I'm going to create two solids. The first one will be all white, so that's cool. Next one, New, Solid and I'm going to make this one sort of a very light grey. Click OK. Once we've done that, you want to select the grey layer and then go up to the mask button here and change it to an ellipse mask and then once you've done that just double click on the ellipse tool and what that's going to do that's going to sort of mask out an ellipse of the grey solid and all we have to do then is go to mask and instead of add you want to change that to subtract so it's on the outside and then select the grey layer and then hit F on the keyboard that's going to bring up the feather and then you just want to bump up the feather to around 150, 200 and you see we get that really nice subtle background with the vignette around the edge and that's all good and next what I'm going to do I'm just going to drag my video footage into the composition now this doesn't have to be a video it could be a screenshot of a website or it could be a screenshot of your YouTube page or a video that you've posted on YouTube it could be anything but so I'm just going to drag this onto the composition, I'm going to scale it down just to about that and then what we're going to do, we're going to go to layer, pre-compose, click OK, cool and now that's in its own sort of composition but if you want to open that composition all we have to do is right click on the video footage and then open composition and there we go. So once we've opened the composition of the video footage we're going to right click on this section this one right here and we're going to go to composition settings and I'm going to change the height from 720 to 1440 and that's just going to double the size so if you zoom out now we can see and I'm just going to move this up to the top and then I'm going to control C control V to copy and paste it oh, we'll just do that again control C control V and that's going to paste the layer now and then all we have to do is select the top middle button here so we can move it and scale it around and all you want to do is just switch it like that just like so and that just sort of mirrors the image and now we're going to create the reflection effect so we can do that by selecting the rectangle mask tool selecting the second layer which is the bottom layer and then you just want to draw a mask just around that size around your composition and then hit F on the keyboard that's going to bring up the feather and then just bump the feather up and you see that what that's going to do is going to make a really nice sort of faded effect and if we select the same layer again and hit T on the keyboard that's going to bring up the opacity and drop the opacity down just a little bit just so it looks sort of like realistic reflections and if we go back to our original composition now you can see straight away that's created that really nice sort of reflection now what we're going to do is make this layer 3D and you can do that by this little cube button here just select that and that makes the layer 3D and now what we can do we can work with that in 3D space so we can move it around but before we do that I'm just going to go to layer new camera and just throw a camera in there um, 50mm it doesn't really matter what 35 or 50 is good and then click OK and now we've got our camera in there and if we wanted to now we can spin round it all but we're not going to do that just yet so what I'm going to do is just change the, 
the orientation so I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit so if we drop down the video menu go to transform Y rotation and we're just gonna spin it round just change it to about to about plus 30 plus 35 plus 30 looks good and we might want to scale this up just a little bit and then move it into position cool that's looking good now we're going to create the the animation of it flying in so what I'm going to do is select the video layer again press P on the keyboard and what that's going to do that's going to bring up the position of the video layer and what I'm going to do I'm going to animate backwards so I'm going to go to around three seconds and I'm going to set a keyframe by hitting the little stopwatch button on a position and you can see now that that's added a keyframe and if you move to the start of the composition what we're going to do is select the blue arrow which is the Z axis and then just move this all the way over here so we can't see it anymore and if we let me just drop the quality down a little bit if we play now you can see straight away we get that really cool effect of it flying in sort of thing cool so that's pretty much done and once you've done that now what we're going to do is add the text so if you see it on the example if we have a look at the example very quickly you can see we get this text that sort of spins around and reveals and that's pretty cool so let's go on and do that so first off I'm just gonna write select the text tool and I'm gonna write um, write we'll do the same we'll do tutorials and then just to save time I'm just gonna copy and paste these text layers so tutorials Unboxings, Control C, Control V. I'm just being lazy here, just to save time. What else? Um, DSR, DSLR video. Nope. Plus much more, and you just want to position this just so it's aligned with the video. Make sure we got some space in between them. I can bump up the resolution for this a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Cool, so that's looking good. We might want to space these out a little bit more so we can read them cool now once that's done what you want to do is select all the text layers by holding shift and selecting them all and once again make these 3D by clicking the little 3D cube box that's going to make them all 3D and I'm just going to drop down the menu and move to around 6 six and a half seconds in the timeline and I'm just gonna set a keyframe for the Y rotation cool and then I'm gonna move backwards in the timeline maybe to around four seconds four and a half seconds maybe and then we're just gonna move this up to about where about to about 60 65 70 somewhere around there cool and once that's done what we can do is if we preview this now I'm just gonna drop the resolution down just quickly actually what I'll do I'm just gonna disable the video layer for now just so we can see what we're doing so now we get this really cool rotation and what I'm also gonna do is select all these 
text layers again and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and I'm going to select the stopwatch at 100% so if we add that now we it adds a keyframe to all the text layers and move back down the timeline to around four four and a half seconds and set the opacity to zero and once that's done now if we preview now they sort of fade in which is cool and with all these layers selected if you select U on the keyboard what that's going to do that's going to bring up all the keyframes automatically so we can see we've got these keyframes now and what I'm going to do I'm just going to offset them so I'm going to select the unboxings and move that forward just a little bit do the same with DSLR video move that forward a little bit and plus much more same again move that forward so now they offset a little bit and they fade in and we get this really nice effect and now we can put the video layer back on and that's pretty much it cool so I hope this lesson was useful and you found it sort of interesting and you learnt some new stuff that's always the aim of these tutorials and also don't forget to subscribe as well for loads more cool tutorials so thanks for watching this video guys really appreciate it and I'll see you again very soon in another tutorial see you later guys